Okay, um, this is Dad Streams Games. I have not posted a video in quite some time, but my son actually asked me if I would get back into it. I think he's the only follower uh, of my YouTube channel. Uh, Dad Streams Games is a channel where I try out uh, gaming uh, and I talk about the games I'm playing, uh, general topics uh, that interest me as it relates to computing. Uh, I am primarily a player of role-playing games, strategy games, and uh, board or card games that have been um, uh, ported uh, to the digital environment. So today we have Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, I played Magic the Gathering from 1994 to maybe 2001 or 2002. At that time, uh, it was a collectible card game, and it still is. So very nostalgic for me. I had not played uh, in almost 20 years and a friend at work uh, got me into it so I've been trying it out the last couple of weeks. So this is the home screen. Uh, this is where you can see your profile. Uh, it shows you your username. Uh, it shows you your rank. Uh, and then uh, these are your decks. Uh, some of these I made and others are pre-constructed decks that I got uh, by accomplishing certain objectives in the game. This is where you can go to buy packs. So like the collectible card game, you get to open packs and see what cards you get. I believe there's 15 cards in a pack and this is where you go uh, to buy those cards that you can either buy with in-game money uh, or you can buy uh, with gems, which is uh, you use real life money for that. So I'll just go ahead and show you real quick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy an Aquaria pack with in-game money I've earned. So there you can see I buy the pack, I claim it, then I go back over to packs and I get to open it. This is the rare card. So you click on that. And there it is. So this is the mastery tab. Um, this shows you how you're progressing on certain objectives. Uh, down here at the bottom is a special mastery tab uh, that you can get uh, by by uh, spending these 3,400 gems, I have not played around with that. So what I really want to show you here is the gameplay. So we're going to go ahead and play a game. There are several ways to play. These up here where it says events, these are typically uh, sealed or draft events where you get uh, some packs and other people get packs and you take one or more cards out of those, pass them around, and everyone has to use only the cards that come with the packs uh, from that event. Down here is more constructed deck play. Uh, this is casual where it says play. I don't really know what Brawl is. Uh, standard ranked is what I've been playing the most of, and this is where you uh, build a deck and play it against other people that have uh, presumably put a lot of thought uh, into their deck uh, and standard ranked means it's using typically the most recent uh, uh, card sets um, to make it uh, more accessible for folks and more manageable. Uh, historic ranked opens that up and really all of the cards uh, are accessible to you. Bot match you play against the computer. So we're going to do standard ranked uh, and I am going to choose my deck. I would like to do the red-blue redo deck. Alright, my opponent is Red Eye, and apparently we have the same avatar. Um, you have the opportunity, uh, just like in the card version of Magic, to look at your hand of seven cards and decide if you can play with that or take a mulligan, uh, which means you would redraw, have to discard one, and start the game with six. So I don't love my hand. Uh, typically, uh, with this deck, I'd like to see some smaller creatures uh, in my hand, um, in addition to uh, maybe one more land, uh, but we'll see. 
I'm going to keep it. Uh, games go pretty quickly. I would say uh, you can finish a game in a couple of minutes and definitely under 10. Uh, so it's something that you can fit into a busy life. The other thing that I like about it is um, it's clean. What I mean about that is uh, I'm a minimalist. I don't like clutter. Uh, and I have to share my house with my wife and three kids. So I find that having a digital card collection is much more manageable. Uh, also, with kids and pets, when you have cards, they're exposed to risk, damage. Uh, that is not so with a digital collection, so I really appreciate that. Uh, so my opponent has a, uh, cast a small uh, creature. They have cast the Hazda Marshal. I don't know that I've seen that card before. Alright, so I'm going to play a land. I can't play anything else. Uh, these lands, um, the mountain here and the island here, uh, this is how you pay for the other cards in your hand. Uh, so this guy is coming out really fast. Uh, I'm going to use Lava Coil to deal 4 damage uh, and kill that. Wow! Wow! Uh, okay, apparently I didn't get to show you much gameplay because uh, after killing this individual's creature, they packed up their cards and they went home. Alright, well I'm going to try again because I'd really like to show you a little more of the game, but you did at least get to see uh, that as a result of that win, the game uses a rank system from bronze all the way to mythic. Uh, and by accomplishing certain objectives, you can rank up that way. In addition, you'll see a bar across the bottom of my screen here. And uh, each of these is a daily or weekly objective. So I must have accomplished one of those. I went from 17 to 18, whatever that means. And I was awarded 275 experience, a core 21 uh, pack, and a shallow hole. So... We're going to try to play again, uh, and we'll use that same deck in that same format. So a friend, uh, I think I mentioned this, a friend from work got me into this. And the, the other nice thing about that is you can play with friends, uh, family from around the world, really. Um, and it's a way to stay connected, especially... You know, you can pop in the Discord chat and play a game uh, and socialize uh, with your friends uh, while playing a game. So, this ability, uh, when I played this land, it allowed me to scry one, which I can look at my next draw and see, do I want to keep that or do I want to move it to the bottom of the deck? I'm going to go ahead and keep it. A lot of the opponents I've noticed play similar decks. There's a... It seems like a lot of folks kind of tap into the same, what they call meta, uh, or, or sort of game above the game, uh, meaning there's certain uh, prevailing card combinations or powerful cards, and, and people seem to really gravitate uh, to those um, pre-made uh, uh, combinations. So I have no creatures, I have only spells. Um, but I'm going to sit patiently back uh, and see what happens here. Normally with this deck, I would have cast a creature spell by now. So uh, I'm going to ionize this uh, counter target spell, meaning he will not be able to play it. Uh, and it will also deal two damage. To him. Okay. Now I'm moving. I'm good at what wow. I do. That looks and like a I serious card. Win. So this is a planeswalker and they're a little different mechanic. They did not exist uh, when I played the game uh, many, many years ago. So uh, we're gonna play a uh, sprite dragon. Uh, and then we're going to play a Lightning Storm pin. Uh, both of these creatures have haste. Uh, normally when you play a creature, you have to wait a turn to use it. But when it has haste, 
uh, you can use it right away. So I'm going to try to get some damage um, going. He's going to be able to kill both of these creatures with this Vraska Golgari Queen here pretty soon. But... Wow. Being ruthless has its rewards. I might be in trouble here. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. So this uh I get to draw some cards, uh but in addition to paying the one red mana and the one of any color mana. Uh, the land, that's what we call mana. I also have to discard a card. So I'm going to discard that mountain. I'm going to see what happens here. Right. So now I'm going to put out a Planeswalker. Tybalt Rakish... Instigator. Um, he's not super special other than he stops my opponent from gaining life. I've noticed a lot of the decks that people are playing revolve around uh, gaining life and taking um, a life combination from your opponent. Uh, it's really frustrating, so this is my way uh, to try and manage that. Getting bored anyway. uh, all right, Let's apparently yeah. that dealt with that. We were born for the hunt. I'm going to say something positive to my opponents. I think that kind of vibe uh, is needed. Oh, and they responded by saying thank you. So that's great. So I am going to kill that. And I am in trouble here. Um, okay. Yeah, growing up playing Magic, it was a ton of fun. Um, I would say I was always more interested in what I'd call the business aspects of the game. I liked holding the card. I liked sorting them. I liked trading them. I liked buying and selling them. Uh, and in fact, uh, when I quit, I was able to sell my cards for quite a lot of money. Uh, but I also enjoyed uh, an unfortunate casualty. This is pretty cool. I've not seen uh, actually not seen this exact deck that I'm playing against before. Okay, I'm going to throw this out. So I was actually, with this ability Flash, normally you can only play, oh. Well, Flash allows you to play a creature on your turn, but he, uh, he had a response to that. I just feel like I'm fighting for my life here.
I need something serious if I'm gonna. Sacrifices. Actually surprised I've lived uh, this long. This this is a relatively good game. Um, I don't know that I've ever been in control of the board, uh, but I feel like I've held my own. All right, so I have no creatures. Uh, there's nothing that I can do to hold on any longer. I'm going to use these uh, pre-established emotes to say good game, and I'm going to gracefully let uh, my opponents uh, stomp all over me. Alright, well this was a video of Magic the Gathering Arena. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a video from Dad Streams Games. Uh, I think my next video will probably be Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, which is an online role-playing game. So if you're interested, uh, come on back and check that out.